I can't see. Hey guys, it is me, your director, Mr. Sean David. No. Hey guys, it's me, your director. I just want to say something real quick. This has been an amazing video to work on, and I'm here with my good volunteer helper, Matthew Lorkevich. No. Just be like, hey guys, uh, we had a lot of fun working on this video. It's yeah. been a lot of work. Thanks for everyone for their cooperation. Uh, we hope you enjoy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I got it now. I got it now. Hey guys, it's director. I uh, just wanted to say it's been an amazing opportunity to work on this senior video. Uh, big thanks to Matt for helping me out too uh, with that opening, which is the huge montage and everything. He's been a big help with music, and so a lot of credit goes to Matt. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So, Henry, in your best words, how would you describe the class of 2019? That's a tough question. I think the class of 2019 is... I 
Like honestly, like I'm just trying to go home right now. Like I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Kylie and I were playing What Are the Odds in art, and she lost, so she had to jump in the trash can outside in the parking lot. My favorite memory from freshman year was when I had to wear a neck brace to school because I broke my neck. <laughs> the time that I put all my stuff in my locker as hard as I could get it in there and then later when I came back to open my locker and a group of very popular senior boys walked by and I opened it and got knocked out cold from my flu. So my favorite memory from freshman year happened at the very end of the year in my intro to physics class. So, uh, JP has his backpack on, and then Sean puts the backpack on, so they're back to back. And so, Sean's like walking around with JP on his back, and then we realized he was getting choked out, and he literally could not breathe. Mr. Wise started screaming, get him off your back, get him off your back, and that's when Chase decided the best thing to do would be to push Sean into the lab table so JP would actually bump his head on the lab table. I called the nurse and I was like, I really don't know what's going on, but he's either passed out or seizing. But like his eyes rolled back in his head and then they called a Merv. And JP ended up being okay. He was fine. He just doesn't remember anything. And like half of our physics class was like crying. I disagree with them a lot. That was probably the worst day ever. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, Sean cried too, just like you. No, bro. Yes, you no. Know. He went to geometry after and he was bawling his eyes out. If I wasn't word on the street, I wasn't there. I was teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Freshman year was nervous and exciting. New teachers and different classes that weren't in middle school. In Miss Farmer's English class, where during a Romeo and Juliet presentation, me, Pat Edwards, and John Delsinor were acting out a fight scene, so we just started beating the crap out of each other with plastic swords. <laughs> when Mr. Lev made us all do the Just Dance Rasput and Dance to learn about history. So we are learning about Russia. In Intro to Physics with Miss Killian, we were doing our roller coaster project and uh, Alexia was in my group and so she was using the hot glue gun and then she dropped the hot glue gun with the metal part down right into my arm but I, I still have a scar today. So freshman year we had Miss Coonan for physics. The entire year uh, Lucas Stowe, uh, he kept asking if he could use like the, the safety shower and he kept asking her and she kept being like no, no and then she left and we ended up getting a sub and we somehow convinced him to let him um, use it on the last day of school so uh, somewhere we have videos of Lucas under the shower getting soaking wet but the funniest thing is later it turns out that him using that flooded the boys locker room so Yay for sudden plumbing. <laughs> My first day freshman year going into Miss Erickson's class and I called Mr. DeLongchamp bald guy because I didn't know his name and uh, got a detention my first day of school. My favorite memory of this year was in football against SPM when we got our first win and the field was completely muddy. Right, my, uh, my worst experience was BVT last year. We were tied at halftime and then I got, I got a heat stroke and threw up for the entire second half. And I think he broke his leg broke his ankle or something. Someone else broke like their knee. Someone got a concussion. It was just a terrible experience. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the best games uh, or memories was winning the district finals last year for basketball. Funny memory from last year, junior year, when we all had to go on antibiotics because Nina had the whooping cough. The whoop that got sent in high school. <laughs> Oh yeah, favorite game definitely had to be smacking Douglas in the semifinals this year. 
It's just fun because everyone hates Douglas. But we still got a wax Jared's bond for the blue on DVC. My least favorite game was probably Douglas home uh, our homecoming against Douglas last year. Ball just kind of bounced over me. Playing against Douglas in my sophomore year, and I hit an inside the park home run and being 20 to 1 roll sandwich. Our favorite memory from track was when at the 2017 All State meet, we were going for the school record, and in the first lap, I fell flat on my face. The rest of us uh, kind of were worried that we weren't going to end up getting it, but we ended up beating the school record by four seconds. By the power invested in me by the states of Massachusetts and Rhode Island, and the online Universal Life Church and Ministry registrations, I now declare you may yeet the bride. <laughs> My favorite high school event would have to be last year's Winter Variety Show. Uh, it was really enjoyable to have everyone clapping along with me and singing along. And when Country Road started playing, when I started singing, everyone sang so loud that I couldn't even hear myself sing, and I laughed in the middle of that. So that's something I'm definitely going to look back on in the future. Yeah. There you go. Mine, my favorite senior event would probably be prom. When I, uh, I won prom court, it was very exciting, it was unexpected. And a uh, great time. It's a great time. My favorite high school event was definitely homecoming and going all to all the homecoming games and then getting dressed up with all your friends and going to the dance. Uh, my favorite high school event is probably prom because I always look good. And <laughs> when I go to prom, I like to dance as hard as I can on the dance floor and I get crunk. Ow! No! <laughs> My favorite high school event was definitely prom because it was my it was my first prom. But once I got dressed up that night and put on my makeup and went out with my friends and took pictures, I never like experienced a school dance like that ever. It was absolutely breathtaking, and I thought it was a very special night for me and my friends. Least favorite event thing that happened. Well, you can say you know okay. yours. Okay, prom yes. 2017. When I puked because the chicken wasn't cooked and nobody believed me. I didn't know. I and I puked. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> um, my favorite. I'm gonna be happy. My favorite event is probably mini Olympics because like everyone falls on those back race things. I remember one time. I don't know what it was, but Ashley and Kate they literally face planted. It was the funniest thing. My favorite event about high school was going to Haiti and I got to experience new culture and a new country and the people were so loving and they were all just so happy with what they had and I think that was like really good for me. Pretend like you're working. Oh my god. Hmm? How you doing? What's up? Seeing your video. What are you looking at? <laughs> I don't have anything to say. JP, what's your favorite memory? What's my favorite memory? Uh, I like criminal. Yeah. I lost, I lost Flex a lot, so that was probably my favorite moment. I'll verify, she lost Flex a lot. <laughs> we saw a lot of each other, and let me tell you what, it was misery. You loved it. We had a good time. It was fun. Hanging out with my friends during SVP when we visit Mr. Marcucci every day. <laughs> and I would say they could just probably do it. It's probably doing drama club because you get to make a good. You get to, you get to make good friendships, and it's fun. And it's fun to get into character, character of the year. <laughs> All right. So my favorite memory from high school 
was probably being able to go to Italy my junior year. I'm glad no one got hurt, but when the bus slid down the road last year and we had all those snow days afterwards. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in my neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave. After having Miss Hernandez for two years, you'd think she'd know my name, but this is Jason, and I'm Jeff. We love you, Miss Hernandez, but all of sophomore year, I don't think you got our names right more than five times. One time, during lunch, Sean Melia put a raspberry under my seat while I was wearing white khaki shorts. So I stood up, and it just, my pants were all red. Just the whole entire lunchroom was looking at me. During Love's class, he always had this bowl of candy, and one day he took out a piece, it was a red piece of candy, he ate it, and then he started dancing and singing, and everyone who's in that class knows it as his red candy dance. After a pep band game, we all got into a big snowball fight in the back parking lot, and Chase Lindsley was driving by in his car, and he rolled his window down, and Kyla Boynes threw a snowball, and it went right into his car, and it was super funny. I love Chase! <laughs> My favorite memory was going to the adventure part and having a shared experience with my peers and just, it was really fun and we did it all together, so. Uh, my favorite memory from freshman year was when I was running indoor track and I ran into one of those big metal poles in the middle school and then got a black eye from it afterwards. My favorite memory about high school was probably breaking the school record in the 4x8 last year with Ryan Clark and Aiden Stewart and Mike Olson. Winning two gold medals. So, how long have you guys been together? We've been at, together. At, at, I got this. Way too long now. Way too long. I can't even... Three great years. <laughs> Sean, what are, you, what are you doing? I just want to go home. Still. You still want to go home? Yeah. You want to go home that bad? Like, like this bad. Like that? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Was it worth it? As we roll down this unfamiliar road, and although this way, okay, so people might probably remember me by being the horse girl and always talking about horses and um, asking when the Fourth of July was. It's gonna be a couple. I've been talking a lot, being where I'm not supposed to be. Captain in canoes, as you can tell, about the private pedal boat right here. Captain's the canoes. I do. I mean, I mean, that basically sums a lot of it up. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna go on my business here on this elevator. Everybody will remember me as the Italian stallion. So, a common nickname I hear for myself is Falc Daddy. I mean, a lot of the juniors call me that, but I don't have a problem with it. It has a nice ring to it, so I just go by Falc Daddy. Um, I think people will remember me at Sutton through my crazy makeup, my random facts, and most of all, uh, senior year when I was hanging out of a tree on our zip lining trip. <laughs> One thing people are going to remember me by is definitely all the weird stuff that I do. You know, just <laughs> just goofing around, being a being a dingus. Hello? <laughs> you know, just be funny. So, one of my biggest nicknames throughout high school is Wood, even although my last name is Woods. People start calling out Wood. I think most people will know that throughout the senior hallway, they'll hear Wood being called out left and right. So that's how I got my nickname, at least. My advice for future seniors is to not go on three trips in one month because you will fall behind in your work and you won't be able to make it up and to have fun in high school because once you're gone, you're really gonna miss it and all the friends that you made. <laughs> <laughs> One piece of advice that I'd probably give to future underclassmen would be to try. Your grades, freshman and sophomore year, actually matter, and if you don't try, then you're basically screwed for applying to colleges. 
Oh no, I'm camera shy. My advice for underclassmen would be don't be late 27 times and don't miss school 17 days because it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. My advice would be to do whatever you wanted to have fun in high school because it will inspire very quickly. The advice I have for underclassmen is to walk on the right side of the hallway and just walk like a normal human being. Like, don't stop and make a conversation in the hallway. Like, it's made to walk, not talk. And get to your class and then talk to them. My advice personally would be keep everything on the DL because Sutton is small and anything big or small will get around and everyone eventually will find us. My advice is to live the year to the fullest because it's really short and don't skip a basketball game or a parade for homework or a project like that. Senior year at least. Matter. Yeah, senior yeah, year. Exactly. Another thing about senior year is make sure to make amends with everyone. Like, you're going to leave everyone. Make sure you end it on a good note. Um, sit down, do your work, because honestly it's just going to lead you down a road you don't want to go towards. I would know from experience. Uh, my senior year I just sat down and I just did my work and I applied myself and I got the best grades I've ever got. So if you just sit down and you don't, you know, like goof around, you know, I mean like I walk around a lot but whatever, you know, still doing alright. So you will achieve great things. Some advice that I could give to the upcoming seniors would not to be a bum like Eric Johnson and actually show up to the interview so you can be in your own senior video. Thank you. Eric Johnson, how you doing? Doing pissed off. <laughs> so, upon popular request. Oh, I have to take a physics quiz. What time Eric. it is? He's so <laughs> John, I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, Eric, it's okay to be a diva. Are you running? Are you running? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so my favorite high school memory was with JP. We were at his house singing Glee Karaoke. He got mad and he started hitting me with a pillow for knocking his Wii over, so I punched him in the face. He bled a lot. It was pretty funny. We're done. So one of the regrets I have this year is taking AP Lit. Sorry, Miss Erickson. When I came into this year, I thought AP Lit was gonna be really fun and it was just gonna be a breeze. Then got into the class and I realized that it's impossible and I ended up almost failing every quarter but just barely getting by, so I thank you for that. And yeah, it was fun. Hope you miss me. Whoever has to be taking AP Literature, sorry, Grandma E. Sorry. Um, I'd say my biggest regret is getting addicted to donuts and playing video games and gaining 15 pounds. I'm John. Wait, is that a single use plastic water bottle? Hi seniors, I'm really lucky that I had the opportunity to teach almost every one of you during your time at Sutton High School and I'm really going to miss all of you next year. Hi guys, uh, it's been so much fun working with you over the last couple years, even you Noah. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish. Um, you're going to do great things and we're going to miss you around here. And to our class officers, thank you very much for all of the laughs. We're going to miss our time together after school often and, <laughs> and making a lot of jokes. We're so proud of everything you've accomplished. Great work this year. Bye. We'll miss you guys. See ya. So, it's a pretty good senior video, I must say. You know, I mean, with me in it, like, psh, kidding me? Like, best video of all time, dude. I bid you farewell, my friends. <laughs> well, that sums it up. I don't want to say anything. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the help that doesn't speak. I don't know why I'm like, because I didn't talk. So, uh, edit I made it on camera. I apologize. No idea that I, I don't want to blow up your, your. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's already a train wreck. Like, it's fine. Okay.